Hi everybody, um, it's Dee from Dora Bubble. I'm just bringing a book of shadows to you. It's done with a Coptic stitch and that's the back cover. This is uh, metal which is why it's called the Copper Feather. Uh, these insides, as you know, I love Jennifer Daly's stuff um, and I've used it again in this one. Um, but also some beautiful stuff from Anna at Dora Bubble, uh, at, sorry not Dora Bubble, at Create and Craft. So I'm just going to do kind of a quick flick through. Uh, pockets of course. I hope you can all see the work that's gone into it. Again, I just love, love doing these. <coughs> oh, the metal uh, embellishments as well. Oops, the little book. This little um, spells in and place for you to put your own things on as well. Uh, another one that opens all the way out. I just wanted to put so much into this. Um, I've left things like this for herbs to be added or dried spices, really whatever. Um, but there is quite a few envelopes like that. And these are all the uh, the crystal info. <coughs> Love these papers. Uh, another one. I try to go fairly fast with them because it can be quite boring and I don't want to bore you. I have used quite a lot of metal work in this. So it really wouldn't matter uh, whether it was a witch or a wizard that used it. Again, beautiful papers from Anna at Craft Box. Another rope now, which is alphabet there as well. This paper I've actually kind of created myself. It's um, just normal brown line paper and I photocopied it onto um, pearlescent paper once it had been stained and I really like the effect. So this is how it would have started out and then gone through to get the effect that I've got. Hope I made sense now. You can all say hello to Billy. We all know he joins in. You all ask after him as well. Right, as you can see, it's absolutely crammed. It's, I've not fastened these in uh, permanently. You can take them off if you want, cut that off. Uh, or you can add things into it, but I, I wanted it to be your choice where they went, so they weren't um, put on so you couldn't get them off. Sometimes you can't even tell that there's little tidy holes. I suppose, I suppose that's the idea, really. Um, this is actually a bakery bag. <clears throat> I've actually got these on to remind me where the thing is. There we go. So, as I said, I've enjoyed doing this. I'm just finishing another one off. We'll be finished this week. See, this is a bag. Um, and I've left it so that you can put anything in there and clip it shut yourself. I have done fairly big envelopes <clears throat> because of the nature of the things that will more than likely go into it. This obviously has been inked over and a lot of stuff is inked. Um, I use spray inks, I use chalk inks. Uh, <clears throat> anything that I think will make it look more authentic, including tea bags plopped on paper. That was uh, an envelope. Oops. 
There's just so much stuff in it. I think that's why it took me uh, about two weeks to do, really. <laughs> that's that paper that I was saying. Uh, an envelope. And this one, it's got stuff underneath. I do like using that Coptic stitch, I think it's wonderful. This is, they're all glued on, but then they have got 3D gloss over them, so they're not going to peel off or anything. It goes on forever, doesn't it? But at the end of the day, it's to last a full year, so there needs to be a lot of things in it, doesn't there? Love these, love these. Have a flip one. So much stuff crammed in, but so much stuff you can um, add to make it completely yours as well. Little, um, I can't tell if that's a tree of life or not, I'm sure you'll figure it out. Uh, uh, Witches Sabbath, I actually got that out of um, uh, a book about witches, um, and I just thought it was quite apt to put it in this one. So, as we get to the end, I hope you can um, see the work that's gone in it, and I hope you've appreciated uh, being able to pull me down if you need me to. Kidding, of course. Anyway, there you go, guys. That's Dee's Book of Shadows, and I'll speak to you soon. Thanks, guys. Bye.